Hey guys, welcome to Get Inspired Spiritually. What is karma? How does the law of karma operate and govern the universe? The law of karma is one of the most speculated laws of universe. Let's understand the basics of karma. The word karma is derived from kri dhatu in Sanskrit, which basically means deed. Here's a quote on karma from Vedas: Buddhi karma anusarini. As your karmas, so is your buddhi or intellect, and so is your behavior. Karma is the law of creation, maintenance, and destruction. Understanding the law of karma is like understanding the law of universe. The term karma or deed has enormous importance in most of the philosophies, including Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, and Christianity. It is also popularly known as the law of attraction. Although there are certain philosophies which doesn't accept karma nirnaya or karma siddhanta but still law of karma is accepted by most philosophers In life for non living beings like attracts unlike for spirits like attracts like thoughts that dominate your mind all day and whom you seek all time is what you attract this is the law of attraction or karma Your experience on this planet is entirely dependent on your deeds or your karmas. Karma is the universal law of cause and effect. You reap what you sow. Anything we do, think, say or intend is considered as karma. So literally no one can stay without performing any karma. Soon we are going to post a video on essence of karma yoga and karma sanyasa. Karma is a form is a form of energy it can neither be created nor destroyed but it undergoes constant transformation and transmission for what purpose we perform karma and with what mentality we perform it influences our quality of life this is justified by the below quote maya is a restaurant where you have to pay with the currency of karma to eat a dish that is experience you can't exit it unless you spend all your time the catch is that every time you spend karma you get a cash back of karma so you can never fully spend karma think good thoughts say nice things do good for others everything comes back what goes from you goes around and comes back to you this is the fundamental principle of karma the law of karma is very simple but its applications are vast and all inclusive as we apply the newton's law to karma karma is a form of energy it can neither be created nor be destroyed but constantly undergoes constant transformation and transmission unlike economics karma operates at macro micro and even at nano levels so be mindful The above quote explains that the way karma operates there is a mention of being mindful yes it's very important being mindful of what we think act or speak enables us to prevent karmas karmas are present wherever there is unconscious mind each cell of our body has the unconscious mind so literally our body has become our unconscious mind Since birth our thoughts are programmed by various entities and sources as per psychology thoughts are like a computer programs that run in our mind in the form of thoughts thoughts are root root cause of every action but these are not just limited to one incarnation or few incarnation actually we are afflicted to karmas carried forward from millions of incarnation and those karmic programs run in our mind and they in turn determine our deeds the more you repeatedly repeat the same mistake higher will be the karma you attract for it as we repeatedly do the same mistakes this attracts us to higher karma this traps us to the continuous cycle of death and rebirth our karmas are are our are our astrological blueprints as long as we don't nullify our both good and bad karmas we continue to enjoy or suffer in this endless cycle of birth and rebirth if at all we want to attain nirvana or salvation we need to nullify our our all our karmas techniques to nullify karmas will be explained in the coming series and also we explain about the different types of karma based on various criterion 
hope this inspires you please like comment share and subscribe to our channel your support means a lot to us thank you so much for watching